this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress child theme for the theme that you have installed in your WordPress installation. Now, um, this will work with any theme that you have. It's theme independent. Uh, but you might be asking, well, what is this whole child theme business about? Why do I even need a child theme? So the reason you want a child theme is, is because customizations if you want to change something that the theme doesn't let you change and it needs to be changed by adding a little snippet of code in some of the videos that I put out you need to be able to put this snippet of code so what you could do is you could put that little snippet of code to change something you could actually put it in your theme but then what happens is for, uh, as new WordPress versions are released you're gonna most likely need to update your theme that you have on your WordPress installation. And when you update your theme, you're gonna overwrite all those customizations and changes that you may have added to your theme. So that's where a child theme comes in. Uh, we'll create a child theme and it's linked to your main theme and you put your changes in the child theme and then you're free to update your theme as much as you want it's no big deal because your changes are actually here in the child theme so that's the reason why you want to do this now if you're new to wordpress you might be thinking I i'm not going to change any code i'm not changing any code in this thing because i don't even know what what that is uh, but i'll tell you as you get more comfortable with wordpress and you start to see things that you may want it to do that your theme isn't letting you uh, be able to implement and you you realize you need to add some code you're going to need a child theme so you might as well just start off with a child theme now some themes they will actually provide a child theme for you but not all themes there's a lot of themes that i have that they don't provide a child theme which uh it doesn't matter because it's real easy to create our own so this is how you do it uh, just log into your wordpress dashboard i'm logged into mine here and i've already clicked on themes and you can see right here's my active theme right here this is just a free wordpress theme so uh, just go ahead and click on plugins and add new and it will take you right here now i've already done this search uh, all you have to do is search child theme and hit enter right here now the plugin that i've used to create a child theme is this one right here it's not the one on the top left which i guess wordpress thinks is the most popular uh, this is the one I use and, and so I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now what I do is I install it, create the child theme and then delete the plugin. There's no reason to keep the plugin installed at that point. So I'm going to click on install now and then I'm going to click OK. It's going to install. I'm going to activate it. And now once it's activated, all I have to do is go back to the themes area and then click on the themes details of the theme that is active and then if you see right here it says child theme and go ahead and click on that and then right here you would give it's gonna this is the process of creating the child theme just go ahead and give it a name so um, I'm just gonna call it child theme You're gonna need to put something for description and then your name, you could put the name of your website or whatever. I'm just going to leave it what it is. It's actually pulling the name of my uh, username here in, in uh, this WordPress installation. Go ahead, click on Create Child. And um, see, it's a free plugin. It's not pretty. Basically, it doesn't give you some real neat piece of information or graph or image. It just says theme switched and it creates the child theme and it, it might be a little scary too when you see all this code here but just know that your child theme was created and uh, go ahead and click back on themes and see how it says child theme uh, and this is the active theme now so this is my child theme and uh, here is the uh, theme that I, I that prior was live and uh, it easily created this child theme so whatever you named your child theme it would show right there as the active theme and you're safe to put any changes uh, that you want here and uh, it won't be overwritten 
when you go to update your theme if uh, there's an update released. So anyways, there you have it. It's real simple to install a child theme. I hope you found this video valuable. See you in the next one. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Don't have enough time for all this WordPress stuff? Then have the experts install and configure WordPress for you. We'll install, configure, and optimize WordPress for free. All you have to do is sign up for a new hosting account from one of our recommended providers. For more information, visit wpcrafter.com slash free install. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.